All right, so today we're looking at a docking station, and this is a docking station that we did a little video before, but we're kind of going into it a bit more in depth today because I've had a chance to use it for the last probably close to a month. Um, and it's from a company called 2B Number One, and it's, it's not necessarily spelled that way, uh, but that's how they want it kind of pronounced, 2B Number One. So this docking station can be used with both Windows computers that are using Thunderbolt 3 or 4, uh, or one of the M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air computers. And a bonus of this docking station is that, especially with like the M1, um, this will give us the ability to be able to utilize or use dual display. So your Mac plus dual display on an M1, which is not something that uh, it out of the box is capable of doing. So today what we're going to do is show you on an M1 MacBook Air this time uh, how to actually set this up, what comes in the box, uh, how to download the software, and uh, how to get two displays working. And actually you can use three, I just only have two. Okay, so in, in the package, now like I said, I've been using this for the past uh, probably close to a month now. Uh, in the package, of course, you're gonna get the dock, you're gonna get a user manual, you get a 65 watt power adapter, which is really nice. Uh, you get two USB-C cables, one of course that's gonna be going from the power adapter to the physical dock, and one that goes from the dock to the computer. And the USB-C dock comes with a 65 watt power supply in it, which can actually provide 55 watts of power to your computer. So you can you can charge. For me, I'm actually running on a MacBook Pro. And again, we'll be using my daughter's MacBook Air uh, and 55 watts can can easily charge it. Okay, so so here it is. Here it is. This is this is the 2B number one uh, USB-C dock right here. This is it. Uh, and it kinda kinda looks like if you've ever seen a like a Mac Mini, it kind of looks like a small version of the Mac Mini, uh, which is kind of cool. Now this is a actual 13-in-1 USB-C docking station, which does actually incorporate triple display. I, hopefully you guys can see that. So you have the two HDMI's and a VGA. Now of course I don't have a VGA display, but if you had one, you'd be good to go. Get your get your your triple display, your third display out there running. It's also really light, so if you want to throw this in your bag, super portable. And of course, a whole bunch of ports on it. So let's talk. Let's talk about the ports themselves. So we have ready four USB 3.0 ports, three and a half millimeter audio jack, SD and micro SD card slots, uh, USB C, which is what's going to connect physically from the docking station back to your Mac, uh, gigabit in Ethernet, a USB 3 port with PD or power delivery. And of course, your HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and the VGA ports. Now, just be aware, the HDMI 1 port will work perfectly no matter what. It doesn't need any software. It is out of the box. Plug in the display. You're good to go. The HDMI 2 and the VGA are both software driven. So they do require software on your Mac or your Windows computer for uh, them to function properly. So... Let's, let's figure out how to actually download the software and get it installed on our actual Mac. Okay, so I've changed uh, the laptop here. Uh, I've got my daughter's MacBook Air. We've got a single display, because I kind of wanted to show you this too, right? So we're gonna plug it in right now, and no software installed as of this point. So basically all we're gonna do is take this, which is one of the USB-C cables. This is gonna plug into the back where it says host and it's going to plug into one of the USB ports on your computer just like that and the hope is that we should get a monitor yeah no software installed right now just kind of be aware too depending on what you have plugged in you may get different things pop up I actually had a mouse already plugged into it the mouse is functioning um, we're good to go now this is this is where it gets a little different. So we've got the dock plugged in with the USB-C cable. Now just be aware the USB-C cable plugs into the port where on the side with all the USB ports. 
and I believe it says host. On the other side, there's also a USB-C port. That's the one that goes to your power. Um, now, once this is plugged in, you'll actually see on your desktop, on again a Mac, it says Instant View. Now, when you double click on that, uh, you will see a driver download link. That's great. That'll take you to the website and you can download the actual program. Um, it has a version of the software installed on the dock itself, which means you can run it directly from here. Now, if you do run it directly from here, just be aware that it may actually prompt you, and it did for me, to actually go in and download an updated version of it, okay? Uh, so either one of those two, if this pops up, should be, should be good. But what I wanted to show you is if this instant view doesn't show up. If it doesn't show up, then we may have to actually go online to download the software. Okay, so all we're gonna do at this point in time is we're gonna open up Safari or Chrome or whatever browser you use, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna search for a software called uh, SM76X driver download. There it is, okay. And this is the driver that we require and it is the one that actually is on that instant view folder on your desktop. But if it's not there, how do we get it? So nice and easy. You'll see that it's actually under the silicon motion. So first one that popped up for me should be the first one for you as well. We're just gonna click this. And at this point in time, we do have the download for Windows 11, 10, 7, 8. We have the download down here for Mac. Uh, and the Mac version, actually both were actually just updated in April from when I'm shooting. So about a month ago, so that's pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna download this one here because this is the recommended version based on my, my software. And we're gonna let that come down. And it's not a big file by any means. I believe it's only like four or five megs, uh, but it does. it is a bit of a slow download. So just be patient, it'll, it'll get there. Okay, so that's been downloaded. And for those that aren't familiar with downloads on your computer, they will go into your downloads folder. So they may be in your finder under where it says downloads here. And there's mine right there, or it may even be just down here on your dock, uh, which may be easier. But here it is, Mac OS Instant View. So we don't need Safari to be open or Chrome or whatever it is that you have running. That's gonna close. Uh, we're gonna double click our Mac OS Instant View. That's gonna pop up and you'll actually see it says Silicon Motion. All we're gonna do is take this icon and we're gonna move it into the Applications folder. So it's just a simple drag from here to here. That's it, that's all. Nice, nice, nice and easy. Now, what may pop up here is this screen right, right in front of us, right? And it actually says, Mac OS Instant View would like to record this computer screen. And we need to say yes, right? So there's a deny, which we don't wanna do, and it is the one that's highlighted. So if you just hit your return key or anything like that, you're gonna deny it. Um, or you can hit the open system preferences and it's gonna take you right to that area. Now, if for whatever reason you hit deny and you're like, oops, okay, oops, you can go into your system preferences. Okay, I'll move this over, system preferences. You can then go into security and privacy. You then can scroll down to where it says screen recording and you'll see Mac OS Instant View. It's grayed out. So we have to come down to the little lock. We have to authenticate. So if you have a fingerprint scanner, you can try to use that. Or since this is my daughter's computer, uh, I'm gonna have to use a password. So put that in, yay. And all we're gonna do is this, click. It's gonna say, do you wanna quit and reopen? I'm gonna say yes. At that point in time, I, and this is just a personal thing. This is something that I always do. Whenever I install software like that, I always restart the computer, okay? So I'm gonna restart the computer right now and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll, we'll hook up a second monitor and see how it goes. All right, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of sitting off to the side here a little bit. I'm hoping you guys can see me okay. Um, I put up another monitor. So there's another monitor. The, the main monitor is here. Actually, I'll move this over. You guys can see it right there. There's the two monitors. This one is functioning, which it will always function without software, but this one not. And there's a big reason it's not right now. Uh, it's, not, it's not plugged in the HDMI. The HDMI is, is loose and sitting somewhere here. There it is. There's the HDMI. So, here's the fun part, ready? We're gonna see, see if this works. So, what should happen? If the world is operating the way it should, all I have to do is take this, 
I got too much stuff plugged in. Plugged in. Boom, there you go. One monitor, two monitors, main monitor, installed. Now, it's, it's a, it's the one thing to realize is your software driven monitors don't have quite the uh, refresh rate, I guess it is. Your main monitor, which is not software driven, 4K60, I believe, the second HDMI monitor can do 4K30, and if you have a VGA monitor, I believe that's HD. But, fantastic, it's a fantastic setup. I've been using it with my MacBook Pro, my M1 MacBook Pro. My wife actually uses it with her Windows computer, uh, and, it, and it's been doing fantastic. So, I think it's a great, a great investment for those that this is, this is our go-to machine. MacBook Air, as you can see here, works great. MacBook Pro M1 works great. Uh, they're both great machines. And now that you can have all these displays, it's just, it's just better, just better. All right, guys, I'll put links down below to where you can pick up this dock if you're interested. And uh, that's it for me today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, my friends.